Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly reading for August 31st through to September 6th. I can't believe we're in September already. So Cancer, this is a general reading so the messages aren't going to resonate for everyone. Take what fits, leave what doesn't and check out your moon and rising sign readings. I, if you enjoy this reading or you like how I do readings, be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell, as well as give it a like and a thumbs up there, and and comment and and just you know let me know what you like about the readings, what you don't like about how I'm doing the readings, just so I can um, you know change things up if need be. Cancer, I am going to be pulling these cards for your recent past your current energies, your near future energy, and an overall energy card. And I'll pull clarifiers for each of those, and then I will also pull an Archangel Power Tarot card to wrap up the reading. I'm considering doing some daily card, daily readings as well. So if you think that's something that you'd like to see, be sure to comment daily in the comment section so then I know. That was your past energy, now we're going into your current week. So this would be for the 30th, 31st sorry, through to the um, 6th of September. And this is your near future. Okay, look like there's changes going on for you, Cancer. And you have the sun, nice. Okay, so whenever we see this as an overall energy, it kind of clarifies everything and puts a bit more of a positive spin on even negative cards. So it's very nice to see. But this is really about the universe shining down on you this week, Cancer. And, um, and providing that opportunity for material happiness, um, joyous outcomes, um, success. So really feeling good and feeling blessed this week. So it's really nice to see there. And I will be pulling clarifiers as well. But your past energies looks like you were struggling with something. Um, you were you were struggling with something, whether or not that's in your relationships or it's in your money, career, finance, your health or wellness. But you were struggling with something with this five of wands. This, you see in the imagery here, it's a, it's a tug of war here. Um, I feel like it was in a bit of an internal struggle um, on some kind of decision or move to make. Or could, and, and I feel like it was related to the Six of Cups' this past energy. So perhaps someone from your past has reconnected with you or contacted you or you've been thinking about someone from the past. It could even be a situation from the past. So for some of you, this could even be a place where you once upon a time used to work. And um, there could have been some kind of offer or opportunity related to that that has been presented to you again. Or again, an old flame coming back as well. An ex could be coming back as well. Or it could just even be someone that you haven't heard from for a long time. So some kind of like reunion with an individual. Um, and I feel, but I feel like it's created some kind of conflict for you. And I feel like this is, I, I'm really getting the sense for not all of you, but for some of you, this is emotional conflict that created some kind of tension or emotional conflict for you. And you just kind of, you know, with this, this nine of wands here, you, you were put, keeping your guard up. You're trying to maintain your boundaries here. Well, no more when this comes, when, when we pull some clarifiers, but... Yeah, okay. And in your current energy, Cancer, we have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So from this past energy, I really feel like this was making you, your thoughts kind of spin. It's making you feel like you don't know what to do, what what decisions to make, what direction to move in, because this is about um, self-imposed restrictions, but it's restrictions that, an imprisonment that is caused by your thoughts because swords energy represents your thoughts what's going on in your head but and this is in the current week so you're still going to be struggling with that I think a little bit and you have the six of pentacles and the knight of cups here as well I feel like somebody's bringing some kind of an offer to you and I feel like it's really related to this past energy and this is where this is coming from where you kind of feel stuck in your head um the Knight of Cups can represent that Prince or Princess Charming coming in to sweep you off your feet. Some kind of a proposal though as well. And that could be money, career, finance. So someone's coming in with some kind of a proposal. Whether or not it's to start dating. Whether or not it's to deepen a recurrent existing relationship. If 
you're married, this could be someone, your partner saying, hey, let's have a baby. Like, so it can play out so many different ways in relationships. It can even be about friendships and how you connect with people that way. But this, and this can even be about business as well. Some kind of a proposal coming in that really connects with you emotionally on an emotional level. Like you'd be emotionally excited about it. it would You know it has that opportunity to really kind of fulfill something that you enjoy doing. But again, and I feel like you're on the fence, you're not sure what to do about that. Um, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of, of reciprocity about giving or receiving help. So I really feel like if, if this does resonate with you, seek advice from someone that you know has very solid, stable, practical kind of energy with this Pentacle energy. And don't be afraid to ask for help um, if there's some kind of a decision to make related to this um, energy cancer in your near future you have the tower the knight of swords and the king of swords so with this tower energy this is a complete change like this whatever happens in this week here it's opening the door for big changes in your life for things to, upheavals to happen in your life and um, normally we would say this is unwanted change but again, you have the sun here as, as your an overall energy. So I just, I don't feel like this is an unwanted change or an unexpected change. I feel like you're initiating the change, but it still is, is a big change in your life, a big turning point or a big, you know, kind of put, turns your world upside down, so to speak. But not necessarily in a bad way, because the tower, the one thing with the tower is it really is about clearing out things that don't didn't work in order to allow the new things to come in. And that's why that tower energy comes in and the universe brings that into you. But whatever change happens, I again, I really feel like you've initiated it. You have the sun here and then you have the knight of swords and the king of swords. And the, these, these are energies that are very... They're very direct to the point. They use logic and reason and in order to, to move forward to make decisions. Um, they also, and they look at the facts, not emotions, sometimes to the point where they can seem a little bit cold. Um, the Knight of Swords represents a lifestyle change. So you could be making changes that way, but it's also about you taking action as well. So action from whatever change this is but in a very clear, mentally focused kind of way with the swords energy. Um, because that is how the, the king of swords is very strategic. So Cancer, I'm going to start pulling some clarifiers for you and see if we can get a little bit deeper into this. So with the sun, we have the chariot and we have the lovers. Nice. So for some of you, this is going to be about... Um, someone possibly from the past or that you've been in a relationship with for, before coming forward. It, if it's not an individual in the past, it could even be um, that someone from the past um, has that information related to a new relationship for you or a deepening of a current relationship. Because with that sun, that happiness, that material happiness, joyous outcomes, you have the lovers in the chariot, you have two major arcana clarifying it. So this is big. This is big for you, Cancer. But the chariot is all about changes. Um, this is also you, Cancer. Uh, the chariot is the card of cancer. So this is about you making changes. And so I really do feel like this chariot or this tower is you making the changes because this is change in action that you are doing that. And it's positive for you. This is a good thing for you. And here we have the lovers and the lovers is really about partnerships and you having a very deep connection with someone, um, even like a soulmate kind of level. It could even be a Gemini too, um, because this is the card of Gemini. But it's also the strength of two people together. Um, so this can also just be about deepening your partnerships, your networking. So if this isn't romantic, this can be a business partnership. This could be you need to involve someone else. That Six of Cups, you, Pentacles, sorry, Six of Pentacles. You may need to involve someone else in order to make changes that you want to ch take in your life. Lovers can also represent a choice. So some kind of a choice, and that choice would be for that action and change the direction you're going to go in. And it is being blessed by the sun.
So that five of wands, you have the seven of cups and you have the eight of cups. So you've really walked away from things that aren't fulfilling you, um, that you just don't emotionally connect with anymore. And by doing that, by letting that go and releasing that, it's opened up many options for you here. Cancer. With that six of cups, you have the star and you have the nine of cups. So the six of cups, whatever this is, you know, this reunion or this, it's whatever this past energy, this nostalgic kind of energy, it's, you know, it, it has with it that, that feeling of wishes coming true and you being able to create that emotional abundance in your life. It's not just emotional abundance too, it's also material abundance. And it's given you renewed hope and faith with this star card and, and optimism and believing that you can achieve your dreams. Um, again, whether or not that's related to your career or that's related to relationships. That nine of wands here, you had the three of cups and you had the ace of cups. So, I feel like this energy is also helping you to let go. Again, I felt like this energy was you having your guard up because this is a card about persistence and boundaries and creating, establishing boundaries. But I really feel like you, um, you're you letting that down because you have, you're letting your guard down um, because you have this opportunity here for emotional satisfaction and contentment. So aces are always new beginnings, new opportunities, new paths, new doorways that open for us. And being an ace of cups, a lot of times we look at this as a new baby, a new relationship, a or a next stage in a relationship. So it could be going from single to a committed relationship, a, a proposal, a marriage. Uh, so it's that next stage or next opportunity. If this is about career, this could just be an opportunity in the career sector that or some kind of project that comes in that almost feels like a new baby, like you're excited about it. It um, gives you the opportunity to really emotionally connect with what it is that you do and you're really celebrating that cancer. With this Eight of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Cups, okay. So really by focusing on your intuition, that's going to help you make any kind of decision and get unstuck out of your head. It's also going to kind of heal any conflict that you have going on internally. And it's going to encourage you by connecting with your intuition and your emotions. It's going to encourage you to um, have this worker bee mentality. This is about you really enjoying what it is that you're doing and you're taking that new direction. So this again could be about relationships and letting, opening up your heart and healing your heart from past energies. And especially if this was someone from the past, um, kind of healing any wounds that could have been related to that individual. And now, um, and not rushing into things though with this this eight of pentacles because this is about slow and steady wins the race this is really about enjoying what it is that you're doing so this could be your career as well or some kind of project you're working on but it, with relationships this would be about you putting the dedication and time into something really honing it fine-tuning something some kind of thing that you're working on to make it a wonderful thing that has the potential for longevity and sustainability now with that Six of Pentacles, we have the Page of Wands and we have the Two of Cups. Okay, another card of partnerships. Um, and again, for some of you, this giving and receiving, I really felt like this was a, um, what well, could be, op again, opening up your heart, letting people in, or if you needed help in making some kind of a decision, it was seeking the advice from someone, asking for help, because you, that help will be there for you. But it could just even be about relying on other people too. And you have that Two of Cups, which is again a deepening of a relationship. So romantic love, a partnership, a proposal, a marriage, same kind of energy as that, that ace, but it's now the next step, next stage. So again, this for some of you, this is going to be about romantic love, but this can also be just about relationships with others too, whether or not that's in business or just your personal relationships. And but you'll be receiving some kind of message or news or information. And again, if you're asking someone from, for help, this is information that is coming in. And this is, it really inspires you. It either inspires your passions if we're looking at relationships 
or it can if we're looking at some kind of a new project or new job thing that you're working on this can represent um, creativity and that kind of inspiration so you're really inspired to create and you can tap into that kind of energy cancer with that knight of cups we have the queen of swords and we have the knight of wands so this this knight of cups this this offer that comes in it really has that potential to have that um it's fast it comes in and i i think it's going to come in a little bit unexpectedly too with this wands energy because this is the fastest moving knight in the tarot deck the knights are the doer the action oriented cards of the tarot deck and this is all about passion so really being swept off your feet so whatever whatever offer this is whether or not it's your career whether or not it's relationships it really has this passion energy this fiery energy to it and it's being clarified by the queen of swords and i feel like this is your energy cancer that you're really trying to look at things in a very logical reasonable kind of way um, this is you trying to maintain your self-sufficiency and individuality this is also about you um, asking brute honesty for from this person because the one thing with the knight of cups and the knight of wands one caveat with them is this is an energy that sometimes it comes in and then it fizzles out and leaves so like that knight of wands can come in quickly but also leave just as quickly so you're looking for truth too you want to make sure before you completely if this is relationship give your heart to someone or open up to them again you want to know that that this is real and I feel like that's what that queen of swords is with this tower we have the king of cups and we have the ace of wands again fiery opportunity um, so something that you're very passionate about so this can be a desire to create something so creating a relationship building a relationship or creating something that some kind of new project but you're very inspired here and you're approaching this also from a very emotionally mature standpoint here with this king of cups you're being tolerant you're being supportive you're being empathetic here um, and you're but you're also listening to your intuition too with this knight of swords you have the ten of pentacles and you have the seven of wands so whatever this lifestyle change is you may feel like you need to defend yourself like self-defense here this is a card of self-defense and protecting yourself but i feel like this is from people especially if this is someone that you were involved with in the past or even going back to an old former career you could have people around you questioning like well you left that once why are you going back now and i feel like this is you actually defending your position that way and but whatever whatever this change in lifestyle is or whatever change is going on with you it has the ten of pentacles this represents a very stable energy this is about legacy building your kingdom um, and leaving your legacy and and um, you know if you're looking at it from a money perspective this can be inheritance and and also building your retirement building uh, abundance around you in all areas building your home building your investments building your happiness your family so you have that very stable energy for when you retire that is just the energy of this ten of pentacles so whatever lifestyle change is happening or whatever changes you're making here cancer it's for something that can be very beautiful and has that longevity that long term um, sustainability and and potential here so it's really nice to see with this king of swords you have the five of swords and you have the knight of pentacles so with this king of swords here in moving forward in a very very straightforward strategic kind of way you know no bs here um, you may find that you rub some people the wrong way with this five of swords here because this is about challenges and obstacles or there could be obstacles that come in like things that you need to do as you're moving forward that you have to overcome but you will with this king of swords energy and you have the knight of pentacles backing it up as well Pentacles is that again that very stable energy. This is about you being reliable, patient, hard working, and doing everything that you need to do to make it through to the finish line. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, he sees he sees the quest through to the very end, no matter what obstacles and challenges come his way. 
So it's really about you being successful here, Cancer. Nice to see. Nice energy coming in for you. And I'm going to pull an Archangel Power Tarot card. And let's see any final messages from Spirit and the Angels. And we have the Page of Ariel here. So this is really about you being balanced and reliable here. And, and there's a cleverness to this too. And this indicates that some kind of opportunity will be offered to you. Um, so if it could, this could be in terms of education, so scholarships, um, as you're, you're, you're pursuing education can also be about money, career finance can be about your relationships as well, but some kind of nice opportunity will be coming forward your way that helps to add balance to your life and that it's time to get to work on it. Like, you know, don't shy away from, from what's coming in, be open to it and receptive to it. So Cancer, this concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and like, and I will see you next time.